Today we'll look at um, <clears throat> understanding vernier caliper. Vernier caliper is one of the instruments in the physics laboratory. And it's a precision instrument for that matter that can be used to measure both the internal and external dimensions. For example, if you want to measure the dimension of a test tube, something like the bottle, you cannot start using meter rule. You have to use vernier caliper. And basically, vernier caliper has two scales. The main scale that is fixed on the caliper, and we have the secondary scale, or what we call the vernier scale, that is always sliding parallel to the, the main scale. But before you can talk about reading the vernier caliper, you have to really understand what is the main scale and what is the vernier scale. For example, when you look at this, this is a caliper that starts reading from 2, 3, 4, and so on. It can start from 1, it can start from 10, it can start from, depending on the adjustment. In this case, it starts from 2. It means you have one somewhere, two, three, four, five, and so on. So what are the divisions in between two and three? If you count, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You have ten divisions. So if you want to know the dimension between one division and another, what do you do? You simply divide 1 by 10 because the scale represents 1, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, and that will give you 0 0.1. So it means that the dimension between one division and another here is 0 0.1. So it means that here you have 2.1. We have 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, .2, and so on. 3.1, 3.2, and so on. So the, the vernier scale or the secondary scale, you have zero. Then the next one, you have here is 10. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what is the dimension between the, the divisions on the vernier scale? Remember, on the main scale, we have 0 0.1. So on the vernier scale, if you divide 0 0.1 by 10, because you have 10 divisions, that gives you 0 0.01. So let's look at the reading on the, so the reading on the vernier caliper is equal to main scale plus the vernier scale. On the main scale, you have to look at the zero point. So that should be 2.1 plus on the vernier scale. It's what we call alignment, where there's an alignment between the main scale and the vernier scale. That line, that is where you take notes. So from that line, you have 1, 2. So you have 2 times 0 0.01. So this is equal to 2.1 plus 0 0.02. So if you add up this, like 2.1, 0 0.02, that gives you 2.12. is equal to 2.12 cm. That's a reading on this vernier caliper.
Let's look at this. This one, the reading starts from 8. You have 8, 9, 10. Dep like I told you, it depends on the adjustment. So, let's look at the small divisions. Five, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So in between these readings, you have ten divisions. So if you want to know the, the dimension between one division and another, you simply divide one by ten, which is equal to zero point one. That is on the main scale. Then on the linear scale, this is zero points. You have one, two, three, four, five. Then you have one. Then you have one, two, three, four, five. You have two. Then you, you also mean that you have one, two, three, four, five. Then you have three. So what is the dimension between these divisions? Remember up there we have 0 0.1. Since we have five divisions, you divide by what? Five. And this is equal to 0 0.02. Is that right? So the reading here becomes main scale plus venial scale. On the main scale, look at this. Look at the 0 point. We have 8. 1, 2, 3. So you have 8.2. Three. Then on this, let's look for the alignments. Where's the alignment? Look at the alignment here. So immediately after the alignment, you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you have that's equal to ten times zero point zero two. Is that right? So, if you multiply that, 8.3 plus 0 0.2, multiply 10 by 0 0.02 is 0 0.2. So, if you add up this, 8.3 by 0 0.2, and that gives us 8.5, is equal to 8.5 cm.